like yeah. the number of cards out and stuff like that, it was yeah. just not possible to play any other day. No, I feel I felt like it felt like for the it, prelims, the Dragon Warrior is wrong, like the aggressive, like if you brought it. Yeah, it, it is I mean wrong. we're gonna see it again in, in the next uh, week or two, right? Yeah. So no, people are running f uh, more control based kind of dragon. No, 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 no. Uh, so I mean. The the tournament you can't change your list from when you turned in. Oh, a month. really? Yeah, you have to stay with the same list. Ooh. That's why when you saw Cydonia uh, when the the spring prelim, like yeah. he had a really all his lists were really old. Like, yeah. oh, that's you brutal. can't switch lists. Able yeah, you, switch. yeah. So you have to actually practice with that deck for like a month to a month and a half, depending yeah. on how long in the tournament. Yeah. All, all I'm gonna say is that, yeah, Dragon Warrior, like the aggressive kind, that like bring to prelim is not correct because it's gonna get beat by the Cthulhu kind of warriors, like where they're really good against these kind of mid rangey kind of decks. So. Disgusting. Yeah, well, it, it was still a fine decision. It, it depends is. on your lineup in the end, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true, too. It depends on you, yeah, the complement of the lineup as well. So we're going to see the Finley. Not not really what you want to see, I guess, but... Uh, would you take the Dagger or Reinforce? Uh, I feel... Probably the Dagger, right? Because you see, you see the... Um, Raven. Yeah, the, the Dagger's fine. Yeah. yeah, Yeah, when you see the Raven, you know it's a little bit more aggressive. Oh, it's something else to remember about those decks that we're going to see in two weeks again. Um, in that meta, it's banning the Shaman, not the Warrior. So mm -hmm. that's a bit different than what you see here in this current meta. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Different things to be worried about. Shaman is not something most people think about right now because there's just so many different varieties. And Melstorm Pulse really does slow it down to where it used to be like even more aggressive. True. It's more about early board control than it was before. Before, it was just like flood the board, hope you get there. Mm-hmm. And it could run out of steam real fast. And Dragon Warrior was insanely good at destroying that deck. Yeah. But yeah, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Who will win the event? See if it's Dragon Warrior or Thin Warrior. Mm -hmm. But Beast War, uh, Beast Druid, sounds crazy. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Interesting enough. Like he's planning to play the Argent Squire. I would have played the Abusive here, just trade off the. Um... Raven. The, the reason for that is the Mark of Yasserage. You don't really want to give him that value. Okay, interesting. Well, I don't know, man. Like, okay. Th this deck, the Beast Druid deck, you know that what they're really trying to get is either a Stranglethorn Tiger or another minion that's stealth and start powering it up and then duplicating it with your mm -hmm. 6 drop. Yeah, but then for this, but then for the Beast Druid in general, you know they would lose if they lose the early board right away without any beast or any kind of draw. Because this deck itself runs out of steam really quickly. And also, once you lose board, it's really hard for Warden. you to come back most of the time. Warden. Yeah. Yeah, Warden in the middle of his hand. Yeah. Did you bring some fish? Menagerie Warden. Oh! Menagerie Warden, And I yeah. thought this was like an awkward play, playing Tuscar Totemic into a uh, Raven just because it can easily be traded, but always told him Golem. One in three chance that you'll get something good out of it. Yeah. Um... You know, I'm, I'm trying to think... Ooh, can you hear power too? Or do you just trade no, in? No, just trade um, in. Like, I'm trying to think here. If they're... How do they make Tuscar to make not as strong? Is you just make more crappy totems? <laughs> but how do you make totems that are bad? You, I guess, like, to change it, I guess, like, you just change it to basic totems only, like the Witch Doctor. Nah, uh, you, you yeah, can't yeah, do that. But, yeah, but you can't do that. Yeah, you can't do But, that. see, like, uh, the Witch Doctor also doesn't follow the rule of, like, the hero power. It just plays, it could be, like, two or three healing totems, or two or three ta taunt totems as yeah, well. Yeah, it doesn't like, follow that rule. Random. Yeah. It doesn't follow that stupid... I yeah, think I think I, it should follow that rule, though. Like, that's only the only no, thing that would No, because then you good. can only summon four totems! Yeah. Where in this way you get to summon as many totems as possible. Like you could actually have six totems on the board. Mm -hmm. I, I really think they should have had the shaman hero power that way in the first place, and it would have been a lot less weaker. Like every turn that you're not doing something, you could potentially get another taunt totem, or you could get a second healing totem, or you. Get... Oh my god! So back in bit it, I don't know if you know this. Um, healing totem also healed you. Oh, that's disgusting. So yeah, could you, could you actually think about it that at one point, if the uh, hero power didn't. Do uh, like only the the set amount of totems. Like it could have summoned as many healing totems as possible. Like so many decks would just cry because you're just like, oh, doom hammer, trade, trade, heal six at the end of the turn, go. <laughs> like how do you beat that? You can't. You, you can't. Well, you can, but it's pretty fucking hard. All right, so we're gonna see we're gonna see a flaming faceless coming down here, protected by Pharaoh spirits. Sounds looks good. 
What a meme. What a meme. But this is what I said about like um, the Beast Root in general. I guess like you can't like the Menagerie warding is going to get value but... now. But it's like a little off curve. Like it's a little slow to actually set up. Like he might What's not like... even want to in, in a sense. Well he could clear two of those. You know what I, I think they're really missing out is they need a, a possibly a taunt for beast. What? Oh, for a taunt beast, you do have what you have to yeah. But I mean, like duplicating the druid of claw is pretty good, right? Is there yeah. any stronger beast? And then go face with the seven seven. Don't worry, loves. The cavalry here. Like Are you sure it's not the raptor that you're getting rid of? But yeah, I, I would agree with you. Getting rid of the savage Command does seem correct move here. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, do little... you know with what? the Inspire of the Savage Combatant, if uh, if you have two out, if it gives you plus four attack instead of plus just the two? What do you mean? He's a f right. Uh, I'm going to read Savage Combatant real quick. <laughs> Hold on. Inspire, give your hero plus two attack this turn. Yeah, so like if he did duplicate the uh, Savage Combatant, he would have five attack. With yeah, the five attack. Yeah, 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 it's five attack. Yeah, you double it. Nah, I just wanted to make sure. But yeah, it looked like he didn't go with your route and ended up costing him a little bit more. Yeah. Coordinate. Probably and because of 5 2. Minutes. I would probably make. Well, not not 5 2. Actually, I lied. Maybe not 5. Well, yeah, okay. Five Even piece? if the 2 1 trades into it, you can at least. Oh, you, you, you either swipe or you hero power this turn. I think you can swipe. You swipe so that now you can actually trade the faceless into it. I guess hero power is fine. It's too. The same yeah, it's the same yeah you, you just want to get rid of the, the 2 1, but the swipe I felt like did a little bit more because it also made it so that the faceless could also die. Oh. Ugh, that's a doom hammer. That's a doom hammer. All right, here we go. We're going to the yeah. face now. We're probably going to use that do memory hit the five two and just go face. Yeah, I don't see it do anything else. Dealing nine damage, putting him down to ten. Potential lethal next turn with eleven damage on board. Yeah, seems good. Yeah, seems good. Uh, I agree. Seems good. Seems good. Seems good. Does that innervate change anything? No, not really. You know what they need to do? They need to make a spell that makes target creature into a beast. <laughs> Oh yeah, actually, that's actually pretty cool. Well, they kind of had that, but you know these snakes. Oh, you're right. The the fang, but I don't know. I, I thought that. No, no, was... no. That that he he, he that, that that's just the same effect as Druid the Claw. If you control a beast, then you get another beast. No, like yeah, a, a spell that. Druid the Claw that, is like automatic though. But it's Druid the Fang though. Yeah, Druid well, no, the so, Fang. Well, the Druid the Fang was you needed an actual um, activator for. Yeah, it. activator. Yeah. As we awkwardly see the uh, reverse sweep coming along because no game ever ends and just the... <laughs>